Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve one numerical problem on three phase medium length transmission line. By solving this problem, we shall learn how to compute sending and voltage, current, power and power factor of a three phase medium length transmission line using its nominal pi equivalent circuit when values of transmission line parameters and load details are given. A three phase 250 kilometer long line has an impedance of 33 plus J times 104 ohm and a total shunt admittance of 0.001 mo. The receiving end load is 50 megawatts at 208 kilovolts with 0.8 power factor lagging. Using nominal pi method, we have to determine sending end voltage, current power and power factor. Let us first write down the given data. Power consumed by the load PL equals to 50 megawatts that is equal to 50 into 10 to the power 6 watts. Line to line receiving end voltage here line equals to 208 kilovolts that is equal to 208 into 10 to the power 3 volts. For star connected system receiving end voltage per phase VR equals to VR line divided by root 3 that is equal to 208 into 10 to the power 3 divided by root 3 that gives us 120,089 volts. Given load power factor cos phi L equals to 0 0.8 lagging. Let us now calculate power factor angle. Phi L equals to cos inverse 0 0.8 that is equal to 36.8699 degree. We know that power consumed by the load PL equals to root 3 times VR line into IL cos phi L. Therefore, load current IL equals to PL divided by root 3 times VR line into cos phi L. Using values we get 50 into 10 to the power 6 divided by root 3 into 208 into 10 to the power 3 into 0 0.8 that gives us 173.483 ampere. Load current may be written in polar form as IL equals to IL at an angle minus phi L that is equal to 173.483 ampere at an angle minus 36. 8699 degree. This may be written in Cartesian form as 138.7864 minus J times 104.0898 ampere. Given transmission line series impedance per phase J equals to R plus J XL equals to 33 plus J times 104 ohm. This may be written in polar form as 109.11 ohm at an angle 72.3954 degree and total shunt admittance per phase Y equals to J times PC equals to J times 0 0.001 more. This may be written in polar form as 0 0.001 mo at an angle 90 degree. Taking receiving end voltage per phase as reference we can write PR equals to 120,089 volt at an angle 0 degree. Let us now determine capacitor charging current at the receiving end. ICR equals to VR into half of J times BC. Using values we get 
using values we get 8.842 degree minus 5.7346 degree that is equal to 3.1074 degree. Let us now calculate sending end power factor cos phi s equals to cos of 3.1074 degree that is equal to 0 0.9985 leading. Now we shall compute sending end input power Ps equals to 3 times Vs into Is cos phi s using values we get 3 into 129,899.25 into 133.8875 into 0 0.9985 which is approximately equal to 52.1 into 10 to the power 6 watts or 52.1 megawatt. So today we have solved one numerical problem on three phase medium length transmission line. By solving this problem we have learned how to compute sending and voltage, current, power and power factor of a three phase medium length transmission line using its nominal pi equivalent circuit when values of transmission line parameters and load details are given. Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any suggestion or question, please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.